Good morning, <laughs> smile a while, and give your face a rest. That's right. What a day! Yes. We have a few minutes left on the show, and we want to bring you this next interview, because some of us are stuck at home with a sweet picnic them every day. And it can be overwhelming. So I'm dropping my kids off at Auntie Dahlia's tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, moms, people, from working on your computer to homeschooling to making dinner with little or no time for self, our next guest joins us via Skype is an interior designer at Iman Stewart Interior Designs. Iman Stewart will join us and show us ways that we can use our bathrooms at home for an oasis. Nice, cool. Hi, man, how are you doing? Hello, good morning. I'm well, yourselves? Good. I'm curious as, as to why you chose the bathroom and, and not the bedroom. <laughs> you know what? That's actually a great question. I will tell you what it, what, what it was. So when I became a mother, women would tell me, you, you're going to need to lock away in your bathroom from your children. I never understood it until I had toddlers. So the bathroom is a great way to just lock your door. You get a few minutes. You can just say, oh, I'm going pee or whatever. You're just using the toilet. And I decided to be able to create a home oasis away. So having a bathtub, soaking my muscles, relaxing, having essential oils, and that type of thing. Creating a spa at my home. All right. So, that, so talk to us about this spa. <laughs> what, what are some of the first things that you should have? Uh, people, whenever people tell it to relax, they tell it to light candles. <laughs> mm -hmm. So is that one of the first things you need to have in this oasis? <laughs> Well, the first thing is you need to have a bath caddy. So one of these, so you can set your stuff on properly. So the candle doesn't decide to drop into the tub or you just have any type of problem. So you need to have a bath caddy. They're also made out of like bamboo or metal. And some of them actually have a stand that you can add a book to read. So. <laughs> nice. Okay. So we have our bath caddy. And we yes. put our candle. What kinds of candle are they? Scented candles? It's a scented lavender candle. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, what is very important is essential oil. And I always tend to go for lavender. Um, just rub it on my temples. Also, I drop it into the bathtub to relax. Mm. Okay. You must smell sweet when you come out, man. Yes. <laughs> so hold on. You, you know, you know, I'm a mom of two, so I totally get what you're saying, right? So hear me right now. Like, are you sitting there with your heart pumping saying, what time are the kids going to wake up and bang on the door while I'm doing this interview? <laughs> of course, of course, of course, of yeah, course. We know that. So let's keep going. All right. So the candle, scented, lavender. What else do you have for your Oasis yes. retreat? Huh. Um. I have Epsom salt, very, very, very important for soaking your muscles. Epsom salt so great to de-stress. It helps with tired muscles, and it just, it's just so, it just makes the water, just, it just gives it a different level. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, drop some Epsom salt. Some lavender. Mm -hmm. What else we have there now, my lady? <laughs> I have bath oil as well, so you can just kind of rub on your skin after you're done exfoliating. Oh, you never tell, what you're exfoliating with? Sorry, say that again? So the exfoliation happens with the, the salt in the bath or you have a scrub? I have a scrub. Okay. <laughs> you no. did, what yes. you? Iman, you're in the whole day? <laughs> <laughs> I wish, no. I, then, then they start banging. I'm like, what happened? What is the problem? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you, you, you put the oils on, of course, because you have to put moisture back in the skin. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. And then what? Well, that's when you come up. But you're in the bath now. <laughs> you're, you're, you're scrubbed, you're lavendering, mm -hmm. you have some salting, the candles are on. So turn off the lights because you have candles. Yes, I do turn off the lights. Okay. Yes. And do you, do you play any music from your phone while taking this I relaxing bath? Do. Yeah. I actually do. I do play music from my phone. So it's either, it depends on if I'm reading or not, but usually I play music. I can add it to like a speaker or I'll just add like a plant. I have an aloe plant in the back. Good I, for like, you know, healing properties. I do see that. I was wondering what to do with all the aloe. Well, so what do you do with the aloe plant? You, you put it she in the back? On it. <laughs> she just look I just want to know, you know, because it look like she put everything in the back. I want to make sure the aloe plant don't go in the, in the back. Does it go in the water and touch of it? 
<laughs> no, that's just for decor. It just looks nice. Oh, it looks very nice. It does. Uh, what about <laughs> um, like getting a towel for your head? Sometimes I see people roll the towel up and put it like between oh. the, the head and the neck, the base of the shoulder. See it there, man. Oh, yes. there you, Delia. Yeah, yes. yeah, live life. Yeah. Okay. Yes. No, no oh, I like that. Okay, so that's like a little pillow in the bath. Now you spoke about reading a book, and what I don't yeah. understand is, I'm afraid to put anything in the bath in case the book drops in the bathtub. Um, you're reading a Kindle, your your or your or your a physical book, like a so real book. Either or will work, but you have to have a bath caddy. So the bath caddy has a stand, but mine, I just made it out of piece of plywood. Oh. You made your caddy. I just basically found some scrap and just put it down across the, the tub. But the proper ones that you can order online come with like a bath stand, like a stand where you can put your your uh, you can put your Kindle, you can put your book, so it, it does not drop into the water. Oh Lord, no, Empress Gone, I'm gone chop piece at the Aki tree. You know, I'm I'm here thinking. <laughs> I'm here. No, I'm about to get busy when I get home. And I'm going to send you a picture, both of you, because I have some aloe. I'm trying to work on how I'm going to create my own caddy. But let me ask you, though, seriously, Iman, when the kids knock, what do you do? What do you tell them? I say, left me alone. <laughs> Call your father. Yes. Say that part again. Say that part again. Call your father. <laughs> And, and you know, uh, I, I, I know my husband. There's someone, that we, we have some tips here, Iman. One of the things they say is if you lock the door, that's a sure giveaway that you're inside. So they'll come knocking. So they yes. say leave the door a little bit cracked, but pull the shower curtain so they don't know that you're inside the box. Yeah, so sure. they're looking and yeah. say, oh, mommy's not inside. She's not in here, right? Then, yeah. 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 yeah, you can hide that way. You can hide that way. Oh, wow. Yes, I love yeah. this. Yeah. So how often do you sneak in this uh, relaxing bath? Emma? How often so, do you get so, to it? Yeah, to be honest, I probably do it about three to four times a week. Wow. Nice. Boy, you got it good. How many kids do you have? I have two. Wow, you're good. Mm, wow. Yeah. All right. It's, it's a lot. Mm. Yeah. Empress's challenge is her kids have her DNA. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, they just expose who you are. That's all they do. No, it's true. It is so true. But trust me, I'm even gonna I'm gonna do an Instagram picture of my bath this evening because you have inspired me. I'm gonna have a bath. You see, Dale. Oh Lord. May I cut it? May I cut the hold rose? On, hold on. The, the first rule. The first rule is, don't tell anyone. Oh, but you just. <laughs> <laughs> Says, what I'm saying, don't, don't tell, tell anyone, not oh. even your spouse. If oh. everyone is in the dark about where you are, no one has to keep a secret. And That's... while they're all arguing about where is mommy, <laughs> you're soaking in the hot tub. But by this evening, when the children say, Where is mommy? Kushaga said, She said she was <laughs> going to be in the bath. So that one's through the door. You know, <laughs> yeah, well, that one's gone. Imagine um, it's one of the things um, for setting up the oasis, finding the things that you love. Mm. I know you, you know, you love the aloe, you love the lavender and so on, but for, for it's, it's giving it that personality that suits you, yes? Very true, because there's also different type of essential oils you can use. You can maybe use fever grass, like lemongrass you can use. Um, there's just so many different types. They have myrrh, they have frankincense. There's different type of oils that you can use. So it's good to just personalize it to yourself. Sometimes I just want to hear music and relax, have a glass of wine. Other times I just want to read. So you're right. You can just kind of create it for your own self. All right, my darling. Mm. Awesome talking to you. Thank you so much. I know when we're gone, you're hopping in that bath. I am. Or I might just put the kids in and just leave for a bit. I, you know? <laughs> Iman Stewart, interior designer. Iman Stewart, interior designs, talking to us about creating mm. an oasis um, at home in yeah. your bathroom. Yeah, man. Uh, and, and I told you about my girlfriend. Iman's gone. But uh, my girlfriend, who, while on a Zoom call, had to find somewhere to hide. Yes. So she went in her bathtub. Yes. Tell her next time, pull the curtain. Yes, and That's me. the tip. Pull the curtain. Pull the curtain. All right, we'll be right back <laughs> to wrap things up. Remember, wash those hands. And if you're in St. Catherine, A to M, your time coming. <clears throat> 10, 
What time is it? 10 a.m.? 10 to 1.30. That's your time to get out and get your essentials. So mm. start making that list mm. of the things that you're going to need. Yeah? We'll be right back.